This video is sponsored by Wondershare Document Cloud. So, Samsung is improving a lot lately when it comes to catching up with software updates. And just before the end of this shitty year, I got the official Android 11 and One UI 3 update on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And these are the 10 most interesting new features and upgrades, and more importantly, how to activate and use them. First is the fresh new design. Most of the One UI look is still the same, but there are some noticeable changes, like the volume controls. Now you have this transparent vertical look that you can expand to control more aspects, the new notification panel animation with the home screen background blur, along with media and smartthink devices that you can control from here, and also media apps that will appear on top when running. The second upgrade is the new notification system. When you go under the settings menu, notifications, advanced settings, you can activate notification history. This way, in case you dismiss a notification by mistake, you can find it in the recently dispensed menu, along with the last 24 hours received notifications. Under the same settings, you can find a floating notification option, from which you can activate pop-up or bubble notifications. This way, for compatible apps and apps you choose, you will receive notification as a floating bubble or in a pop-up window that you can freely move across the screen or minimize for an easier access. Also, now notifications are grouped by categories in the notification panel, conversations, alerting and silent notifications are separate. The third feature is the new widgets options. Now from the app icons, you can tap and hold to directly access that app widget and add it to the home screen. Also, on the lock screen, when you tap the clock, you can see media, your schedule and other widgets that you can customize from the settings. Another useful widget you can add is the digital well-being. Now you can see your screen on time and app users at a glance and freak out more easily on your phone addiction. With this new UI, Samsung Keyboard, which is my absolute favorite, got a new feature that I was waiting for and missing compared to other keyboards like SwiftKey. Now when you copy a text from any app, then open the keyboard to write, it directly suggests to paste that text in one tab. The nice thing is this feature also works with copied pictures. Just copy the image and paste it in one click inside other apps. Next feature is double tapping to turn off the screen. Well, as its name says, double tap on the home or lock screen to turn off the display. You can activate this one under the advanced features settings, motions and gestures and activate double tap to turn off screen. Before continuing into all the interesting features, let's hear a word from this video sponsor, Wondershare Document Cloud. Document Cloud is the latest addition to Wondershare's tool suite for a complete document management experience. If your work process contains digital paperwork management and storage, Document Cloud allows you to both store PDFs and collaborate with your team to digitally and securely sign documents. The tool lets you upload documents, Add authorization access password, add the list of signers even via a CSV file, you can add your company logo and choose where on the document each person need to sign, with full fields customization and protection. Batch send the PDFs for signature and track their status in real time with actions and timestamps. You can also check the status of all your documents in the home screen and send reminders for the signers. Signers do not have to own a Document Cloud account in order to sign, since they can do it via a secure link, which is great for a seamless experience. Follow the link below to get 100 gigabytes of storage, 50% off your premium subscription, and enjoy a seamless experience and say goodbye to the old school ways. Now let's get back to the rest of features. Number six is the new call background. Now you can set a video as a call background. It means when you send or receive a call, instead of getting the default blue animation, you will see the video you have chosen on your screen, but not on the receiver's display. You can set this by opening the phone app, enter the setting, call background, and choose a custom background video. This will be applied on all of your calls and you cannot customize it for different contacts. Number seven is the updated battery usage stats. 
Now it is simpler to see your screen on time and track usage for the last 7 days. Also, the advanced battery settings, there is a new enhanced processing mode. You can activate it for more power demanding tasks and gaming for example, but it will drain more battery. And for those wondering if battery life is better with this update, well, I'm still getting the same 4 to 5 hours of screen on time depending on my usage. I have not noticed any improvements or even degradation. Next are the new Bixby routines. The app got a brand new design update along with new preloaded routines. Of course, you can still add your own as usual. The list goes long with Bixby so tell me in the comment section if you'd like to see a dedicated video on Bixby routines because Samsung is making something special here. The next upgrade brings a stronger security feature. Now you can revoke app permission to access your camera, microphone, location and other sensors and set the app to ask for permission every time it wants to access your hardware. A good way to know which app is using your sensor's data every time. In the privacy settings, permission manager, you can choose your device sensor and add or remove app access or manage access from each app separately. Last but not least is the new focus locking option in the camera app. If you're on photo or video modes, you can tap the subject you want to focus on, then you will have this option to lock it and also adjust the photo brightness. Once the focus is locked, you can move the camera and the focus will stay on that subject. This is handy when filming videos and want the camera to stay locked on the specific object. So this was the video, hope you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.